Agriculture is the main source of livelihood for most of the Nepalese. Drastic increase in population but decline in total production and productivity of food crops, food crisis and malnutrition have become serious problems in the country. To cope with these problems, farmers grow various crops suited to the local environments. Rice bean is one of these multi-purpose crops adopted by the farmers living in the marginal and sub-marginal areas of Nepal. Rice bean is known by several local names such as Jhilinge, Siltung, Guraus, Ghoremas, Ratomas, Setomas in different parts of the country. It is commonly grown in Nuwakot, Ramechap, Dolakha, Sinduli, Sindupalchok, Siangja, Baglung, Tonahu, Lomjung, Palpa, Gulmi, Orga Khachi, Dang, Bajhang, and Bajura districts of Nepal. No improved varieties or improved agronomy is yet developed for this crop and farmers grow only the land races using traditional knowledge. There is a great diversity in rice bean land races in terms of growth habit maturity period, yield potential, seed color and size and taste. Some land races like Bhado Resano, Thulo Pohelo, Chirke Mirke Thulo, Rato and Kalo are some of the popular rice bean land races. Rice bean prefers red soil and it is a drought tolerant crop. It yields better in the sunny south facing aspects. Rice bean is grown most commonly either as a mixed or an intercrop with maize. Planting few rice bean plants in home gardens and uplands around homestead is also common. It is also grown on rice buns and margins of maize field in the uplands. Farmers perceive that rice bean has less diseases and pest problems compared to other grain legumes. However, powdery mildew, rust, and bacterial blight are the common diseases observed in rice bean. Similarly, pod borers, weevils, aphids, blister beetles, bugs, and grasshoppers are common insects. Rice bean matures in about 120 to 150 days. As the maturity of the pods is not synchronous, it requires two or three or sometimes more pickings. Seeds are dried in the sun for three to four days before storing. The productivity of rice bean is more than one ton per hectare under farmer's management. Rice bean is rich in protein, vitamins and minerals. Its proteins are high in amino acids like lysine, valin, tyrosine, tryptophan and methionine that make rice bean an excellent addition to a cereal-based diet. Dried rice bean is used for making various local recipes like dal, botuk, bara, biramla, 
मस्यौरा फुरौला क्वाटी सेल रोटी एंड खिचड़ी द ग्रीन टेंडर बीन्स आर मिक्स्ड विथ अदर वेजिटेबल्स राइस बीन इज वैल्यूड एज अ न्यूट्रिशियस फोडर It enriches soil fertility from the addition of biomass into the soil and also by fixing atmospheric nitrogen. It also reduces soil erosion and is often used as a cover crop. Masang hamro yo bakra patha gai bhaisi sabai chiz la khauna upayog huncha ane khauda tyo posilo huncha हमी अनेक परिकार बना खान सकता मटो मूली को साथ ही अब मटो बगा में बचत कर मसंग चाहिए मकई कोदो धान खेती जो चाहिए जगह तैयारी हेन पर्ने जो जगह में उत्पादन दिने अभी गोड़मेल धीरे हेन पे गोड़मेल करने इट हेज सेवल सोशल कल्चरल एंड रिचुअल वैल्यूज इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ सेक्रेड लेग्यूम and its grains are offered to deities during several ritual functions for example as biruda in gaura parva festival in far western nepal as kwati during janai purnima and as samay baji during indra jatra and other newari festivals Magar community has tradition of preparing botuk and other recipes using rice bean in different social and cultural functions. In recent years, rice bean is also getting better price in the legume markets due to the increase in the price of black gram, lentil and other legumes. Mane esto masang ko chan esto packet banayera ke laera ra ma thau thau ma उपभोक्ता एक एक किलो अरे खाना को लगी दिनी कि चालीस पैंतालीस पचास तेस को ठूल सानो कर सुपा में लिया मैं दिनी गु इन दिस कंटेक्स्ट अ यूरोपियन कमीशन फंडेड प्रोजेक्ट फूड सिक्योरिटी थ्रू राइस बीन रिसर्च इन इंडियन नेपाल और फॉस्रेन फॉर शोर्ट has been initiated in Nepal since 2006. Leebird and Nark in collaboration with Cars NR and Farmers Groups are conducting participatory research and development activities on several aspects of rice bean. A range of rice bean land races and associated indigenous knowledge has been collected from various parts of the country. Participatory research supported by molecular diversity analysis identified a number of rice bean lines as promising for various traits preferred by the farmers. One of the major objectives of the project is to disseminate most promising rice bean land races and related knowledge on rice bean so that the farmers are encouraged to increase area under rice bean cultivation. It is hoped that efforts of the project will support to reintegrate rice bean in cropping pattern and thereby enhance food and nutritional security of poor farmers living in the marginal and complex environments. <laughs>